Hi, it's the end of a long week and we need to charge Yuki the long range Nissan Leaf. Do we use the seven kilowatt home charger or do we use the slower granny charger? Let's talk about home charging. Welcome to EV for me. First of all, let's talk about the seven kilowatt home charger. This is our seven kilowatt home charger. And this is our plug and cable, which goes into the car. And this is a little bit like a petrol bowser. So when, you're, when you fuel up your normal uh, petrol or gas vehicle, you go to the service station, you go to the bowser and then put the nozzle into your car and it delivers fuel or petrol or gas into a tank. And that's where your energy is derived from for a internal combustion engine. It's very similar with an electric vehicle, except you're putting a plug into the car and it's delivering electricity or electrons into a big battery underneath the car. And um, all that electricity is what drives the electric motor and gives you propulsion. And that's your main source of energy. So battery electric vehicles do not have a fuel tank. They just have a big battery underneath. If you have a look in the bottom right of the screen, um, it's delivered 52.81 kilowatt hours uh, last night, so that would have taken roughly eight hours. Um, it's a 62 kilowatt hour battery uh, on the Nis Nissan Leaf, but usually it has, let's say, roughly 58 kilowatt hours of uh, storage. So, you know, we've come in here with 10% and we've delivered uh, 52.81 kilowatt hours, and that's taken it back up to 100%. That charge yesterday, uh, uh, let's say it's about 22 cents per kilowatt hour on, the, on your standard electricity bill, would have probably cost around $11. So it's roughly, you know, $11, $12 per charge. Uh, the great thing about the MyEG Zappi uh, charger is we have logs. Charge log. And we'll go for the total. We've had this car for about five months. And over the five months, we've delivered uh, 1607.51 kilowatt hours of energy. So that equates to roughly, uh, looking at 22 cents per kilowatt hour, that equates to roughly $350 um, of electricity delivered to the electric vehicle uh, over the last five months. So it's about $70 a month. So if you have a look at that in petrol terms, before we had the electric vehicle, um, our petrol bill probably would have cost, you know, that, oh, no, 240 dollars $250 a month. So, yeah, $70 is a lot better than $240, $250 a month. The My Energy Zappi 7 kilowatt home charger is one of the best chargers you can get. It can also integrate into your home solar system, and we have three modes of charging. There's Eco, uh, Eco Plus, and Fast Charging. And the Eco, Eco mode just means that you can... Uh, deliver um, charging energy from your solar panels to varying degrees and fast charge just means just grab what energy you can and just shove it into the car and just charge it as fast as possible. And you've got to remember that in Canberra we're very lucky because all our energy comes from renewable sources. So, you know, we're not talking like uh, coal-powered uh, fire stations or gas plants or anything like that, or gas generation for our energy. So it is what we call zero emissions. So no carbon goes up into the atmosphere to charge this electric vehicle. And that's what we call, you know, uh, zero carbon charging. Uh, and you'll hear that term, you know, over the next couple of years as people go to more towards zero carbon charging uh, or zero carbon uh, living uh, where uh, you you know you don't use any fossil based fuels or energy um, and look it's it's a lot better for the being for the environment you know with the the last 10,000 kilometers of travel in uh, Yuki and Nissan Leaf we've probably uh, say putting roughly you know one ton of carbon up into the atmosphere and that could only be a you know a really good thing for the environment this is the granny charger. It's a granny charger because it's slow. And traditionally, you get a 10 amp charger from the dealership. 
and it's 2.4 kilowatts. So it's going to be a lot slower than the traditional charger that's bolted onto your wall back here. But you have an option. You can go to uh, electric vehicle shops and you can buy a 15 amp version of this charger, which delivers 3.6 kilowatts, which would charge your car about 30% faster. But the only drawback is you have to install a 15 amp power point in your garage. For example, if this was a 10 amp charger charging up a 62 kilowatt hour battery, it would take approximately 22 hours. But if this was a 15 amp charger charging that same 62 kilowatt hour battery, it would take approximately 15 to 16 hours, which is the perfect overnight charge time. So at the end of the day, you may not have to spend $2,000 attaching this seven kilowatt charger to the wall. You may only need a 15 amp charger and a 15 amp power point, which is substantially cheaper to charge up your, your 62 kilowatt hour leaf or even your 40 kilowatt hour leaf. Now let's move on to the charging flap, how to pop it and plug the connector into the car. Most electric vehicle charge ports can be popped via two methods, either via the remote or inside the car. Most electric vehicles will have two charge connectors under the flap. The first one will be a fast charge connector and the other one will be a slow charge connector. Today we'll be using the slow charge connector. All you have to do is get the compatible plug for your electric vehicle and just plug it in. It should automatically lock. Then your electric vehicle should start charging. If you have a Nissan Leaf, you will have a charging status light on the dash. Three solid lights means you're 100% charged. You will also have charging status on the instrument cluster. Just hit the power button twice and select the charge display screen. When you are finished, hit your charge release button either inside the car or on the remote. Then the lock should disengage and you will be able to pull your plug out. At the end of the day, charging an electric vehicle at home is pretty simple. We only charge every four to five days. We plug it in overnight and it's ready the next morning. One big tip, if you're buying a brand new electric vehicle from a dealership, they may have a partnership with a company who can install your charge equipment in your garage for you. And it's your choice to whether you want to use this company or not, but you may be after charging equipment can, that can give you more advanced features, such as logging, um, integration into your solar system. And you may want to go shopping around for that, and your car dealership may balk at this and they may spit out that standard line saying this may void your warranty. That's absolute bullshit. It's your choice to whatever charging equipment you want. And talking about charging equipment, I'll leave a link down below to where you can actually buy charging equipment in Australia. If you want to check our adventures, go to our Twitter page, ev for me 2 also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to know when we upload a new vlog. And we'll catch you next time. I've had a beer and a burrito. I'm ready to go.